Hi everyone, this is group 2 and here is our 20 minutes video for University of Nicosia's course DFIN 513 Open Financial Systems. Let me start with two simple facts. The insurance industry reached 4.8 trillion of gross region premiums in 2017. All that while having a penetration rate of only 6.3% in 2016. If these numbers don't catch your attention, let me tell you, this is big. For some reason, this huge market is among the least innovative financial services still functioning in a centralized way. Life insurance by itself represents over half of the total insurance product and is a popular vehicle for long-term planning. We are glad to bring to you a project with the potential to transform the way business is done in life insurance industry. This is Phoenix, digital life insurance based on blockchain and IoT. Let's proceed with the details. Meet Jane. Jane loves life, but also wants to make sure that her family are covered in an unlikely event. Jane lives an active life. She loves to work out and walk the dog. Yet she's paying massive life insurance premiums. Well, that was until she discovered Phoenix. Phoenix gives Jane a better life insurance deal thanks to the new pay-as-you-live model. From now on, the healthier Jane keeps herself, the lower her premium. Jane's insurance premium fluctuates monthly according to her lifestyle and the data she provides to Phoenix via her IoT devices. But there's more for Jane. With our gamification and reward system, Jane is also encouraged for her efforts and receives utility tokens for fitness milestones she reaches. But again, there's more for Jane. With Phoenix, the more information Jane shares, the more she is rewarded. We believe in transparency and we respect privacy and thus believe that Jane's data should belong to her. But if she chooses to share her generic data, um, she should get some benefits. Why? Well, Jane, when Jane opts to share her data, she's also helping Phoenix provide better premiums to other prospective users. So what can Jane do with all these tokens? Upon accumulation of her tokens, she can spend them on our platform to purchase her favorite health and fitness products and services. Phoenix wants to look at the bigger picture, allowing humans to benefit from sharing all the data that they're collecting on their IoT devices. Our insurance model takes IoT data and traditional insurance data sets to present sensible premiums to consumers. We cannot do that without our customers, so we believe in a customer-centric and reward-based business model. Given our business is on blockchain, we are able to increase transparency, secure identification and help fraud detection, as well as cut out many expenses that traditional insurers have. And those savings go right back to you. In the unfortunate instance that Jane leaves us early, our multi-signature contract allows Jane to give the rights of her data to her beneficiaries, enabling instant payments to her loved ones. Finally, a financially sensible way to benefit from health and fitness tracking that gives the power of information back to people. Founded in 2018 as a startup, Europe-based Phoenix intends to become the largest decentralized life insurance provider targeting lower cost, lower premiums, and immediate payouts. Our values are in line with professionalism. We are dedicated to our product and client experience. Transparency. We aim for crystal clear system, where each of the parties involved can rely not on unfunded trust, but in cutting edge technology. Intuitiveness. We build our solution on a solid ground of simplicity and responsiveness seeing in both a distilled form of sophistication. Let me introduce you the people that make Phoenix possible. Our structure is based on a distributed executive leadership. It represents our purpose of moving away from traditional structures that involve top-down leadership in favor of a newer approach that we believe will translate in benefit for our clients. Phoenix spreads its decision-making capability throughout the team while encouraging initiative and collaboration. In that sense, we count with Alexandra as Chief Risk Officer, Carla as Chief Commercial Officer, Enrico as Chief Technology Officer, and myself, Leandro, as Chief Operating Officer. 
My background is a bit spread over business development, mathematical modeling, and natural science. Let me walk you through some aspects of our value proposition, customer segments, and competitors. As you have seen, our value proposition is life insurance policy products with implementation of a pricing model that diverge radically from traditional approaches. Phoenix proposes health and life habit assessment of insured individuals through the use of IoT devices and infrastructure, which its mechanics you will see in a couple of minutes. Data collections that are stored in a decentralized ledger are used as fundamental drivers to adapt and fine-tune mortality tables and life expectancy, which translates in a reduction of cost. On top of that, acceptance, premiums and payouts, among other aspects, are controlled through smart contracts, offering maximum transparency and responsiveness. In terms of customer segments, our research concludes that the younger age group of society seem not to proceed until final underwriting of life insurance policies. But we know these individuals are looking to adapt long-established mechanisms and shift toward decentralized solutions based on state-of-art technology. This group represents our first customer segment to which we intend to gain through technology decentralization and transparent proposition. In the case of mature age groups, we recognize two general behaviors. Individuals who look for life insurance policies can be found among people with, with respectable access to education and financial resources. This perspective is in general classic or traditional. They represent our second customer segment to which we intend to reach by offering a competitive life insurance product based on transparency and responsiveness. In contrast, mature individuals who saw the educational, financial, or technological resources somehow reduced, in general present no important orientation to commit in a life insurance process. This group will correspond to our third customer segment, to which we intend to reach through simple-to-use contracts adapted to local socioeconomic reality. In terms of competition, at this present time, we are not aware of any company providing life insurance while applying mortality tables data combined with IoT, storing data in a blockchain and provide a pay-as-you-live life insurance service. However, it is true that several companies are moving in similar direction and working on solutions for the insurance industry through the use of distributed ledger technology. These companies represent potential direct competitors. Some examples are Lloyd's Risk, SafeShare, and Etherisk, among others. Considering Phoenix digital life insurance characteristics, traditional insurance companies will represent an indirect but solid competition. The importance to consider them relies on the fact that potential updates in their approach to interact with clients can convert them in empowered direct competitors. Some examples are Northwestern Mutual, AXA, New York Life, and generally, among others. That's all from me, on to my colleague, Alexandra. I'm Alexandra, an insurance professional and fellow of the Institute of Actuaries, working as the Chief Risk Officer of Phoenix. Risk is the core business of insurance. I'm responsible for understanding the risks and putting processes in place to manage them. Let's look at the risk mitigation techniques at Phoenix to deal with the liabilities. First, we have underwriting risk. Phoenix protects against death, so one of the key risks is mortality. If too many of our customers die, we might struggle to pay their benefits. Two key features that help us protect against this. First, our pay-as-you-live model works on a monthly subscription basis, limiting the liabilities to the next month. Then, our customers benefit from discounts based on their weekly activities from IoT devices. Exercise increase your general level of health and life expectancy. We're therefore more relevant to the best customers. And in case a lot of our customers die anyways, a reinsurance contract will take over all the claims after a certain threshold. Phoenix Dynamic Pricing Model adjusts the premium live. The monthly quote evolves with the evolving risks, protecting us from pricing risk. As a decentralized autonomous organization, Contracts and processes are deployed automatically. Additionally, our blockchain provides complete transparency, all the while being very secure. This helps Phoenix mitigate the operational risk affecting traditional insurers. On the other hand, risks emerge from holding capital and investing it through our assets. 
To manage this, we have put in place a multi-asset and currency investment strategy similar to what is done by traditional insurers. Although one of our goals is decentralization, much of our assets will rely on the centralized real-world financial third party. Phoenix is considering tokenized assets as an alternative. Hedges will also be put in place to protect us against excessive exposures. In parallel, the portfolio and funds will be pooled by regulatory area, allowing us to cluster the risks. Insurance is highly regulated with different regulations across the globe, hence the need to cluster the risks. In Europe, for example, Solvency 2 requires a minimal capital requirement of 1.6 million euros. The amount reaches 25 million in China. To avoid investing too much in compliance, we'll start off as an underwriting agency. Phoenix will focus on writing good business and transfer the risk to an insurer. This leads to a commission-based revenue. Once a regulatory zone seems mature enough and we have the funds to insure requirements, we can pursue an insurance li license. Tokenomics is crucial for sustainability. It defines the system properties and can be seen as the monetary policy of a currency. Phoenix will have a utility token with a large number of coins and a low value. Liquidity is key to ensure a healthy network. To promote it, Phoenix relies on different distribution channels. The traditional mining and bounties will allow anyone to get involved in our system and be rewarded in tokens. Customers who choose to share their data will also be rewarded in tokens. Finally, tokens will be airdropped through a gamification process based on health achievements or real-life competitions. Additionally, the plan is to partner with an exchange to make the token more accessible in the markets. The health of the network also depends on people using it. So Phoenix has built in some incentives. Firstly, to use our token as an investment, which leads to profit distribution from our insurance business and also voting rights for future developments. But also as a currency with discounted rates on our platform for our products and our different health partners. I'm Carla, the CCO of Phoenix. My background is coupons, gambling and venture capital. I'm responsible for monetization, marketing and funding. In terms of price, we're adopting EY's pay-as-you-live model. On top of this, our customers are charged monthly and the minimum sign-up subscription will be that of three months. Since we start with technically very little personal customer data, a base price is based on a simple self-assessment form and traditional mortality tables. Obviously, as our relationship develops with our customers, things like data, loyalty will also influence price. When it comes to promotion, one might say the success of the product is always about marketing. However, we believe that it is technology that drives a strong message. That said, we want to take a thoughtful, serious, data-driven tone with our customers. While screaming that we are a blockchain tech company might get us on the front page of TechCrunch, our message is beyond that. Our customers' reaching message will be honed towards sovereign data ownership and being responsible for yourself. We deal with death, which is not a very sexy subject, and the fear is a horrible way to market any product. Let's be honest, no one wants to look at those horrific pictures they put on cigarette packets. So our message is not directly about death, it's about being thoughtful to your loved ones and doing right by your body and obviously getting rewards back into your pocket. In terms of marketing place, we are using a marketing mix of online and offline. So here we have the usual suspects such as YouTube, Instagram and Facebook, Google ads, but we're also going towards print where we'll be going into magazines such as Clean Eating and Runner's World, Out of Home, which is a similar type of banner display on the bus shelter you saw in the slide above, um, programmatic retargeting so we never lose clicks and affiliate marketing because really and truly this is something that could be highly socially influenced. In terms of retention marketing, my colleagues have already mentioned our gamification and reward system, um, as well as the shopping experience within the actual Phoenix platform. So further to this, there will be monthly newsletters, fitness tips, and maybe push notifications for those people who opt into them, of course. So let's move on to funding. 
Phoenix will not be doing an ICO off the bat. We will actually produce a product and get our proof of concept before we go for our ICO. So we'll be starting off with R&D funding, which would be bootstrapped and um, maintained or managed through EU grants, specifically the EU's Horizon 2020 program. That will also cover development, but we will also look for a bit of a seed and angel round um, at that stage. For marketing and go to market, we will tap into pre-series A, we'll go to a pre-series A stage. We will look for investors um, who obviously have uh, access to marketing channels. And for ICO part, we will probably look towards the current loan or companies that are offering ICO marketing um, uh, in a more strategic manner. In terms of the fund distributions, uh, this will be split over over four stages, as I mentioned below before, and we will be dedicating most of the funds to development and marketing with the remainder going to operational requirements such as licenses, ICO prep and salaries. That's all for me. Now on to my colleague, Enrico. Hi, I'm Enrico, the Chef Technical Officer of Phoenix. My background is mostly coming from the mathematical and computer science sectors in the particular for mathematical cryptography and distributed systems. In our team, I'm responsible for the software development of the Phoenix platform that using its core blockchain technologies such as Hyperledger Fabric, smart contracts, mobile application and IoT devices. In the following slides, I will try to present some use cases related to our platform. How users will be able to connect to our platform? Once that a user have installed our mobile app, it will be then possible for him or her to start using our system, answering to a set of questions based on the form that will be presented into our mobile application, and from which it will be possible for her or him to choose the trusted people that in future will be allowed to access to his or her data. All of those information will be executed by a smart contract that will be stored in the Phoenix platform. How user data are sent to our platform? Jane's data will be recorded on the wearable or IoT device that Jane's will use every day during his activities. Then, through the Phoenix mobile app, those data will be encrypted using the Jane's private key and sent to the Phoenix platform, which is a permissioned blockchain. That means that all Jane's data are kept secure and will not use all the storage in the smartphone. How Phoenix can use Jane's data? Once that Jane's will activate the life insurance contract with Phoenix, the encrypted data that are stored into the Phoenix platform will be encrypted with the Phoenix public key and sent to the insurance agent that, using the Jane's private key, will be allowed to get his data and estimate the insurance premium and or eventually provide bonuses or token rewards. How can the life insurance premium be cashed, people that were trusted by Jane that are part of Jane's smart contract will ask to cash the premium of the life insurance contract to the, the Phoenix platform. Phoenix platform will connect through an API to the government services in order to retrieve the trusted and verified Jane's death certificate. Until that, the certificate will not be provided even by a legal entity such as a lawyer the Jane's data will be encrypted with the Phoenix public key. Once that everything will be confirmed, the trusted people will be able to have access to the Jane's data, and based on his wills, the premium will be then cached. That is the last case that uh, today I will present you. How users will be rewarded? A third-party company is willing to pay to access to users' data. Basically, the third-party company will ask Jane to have his healthy data and for getting them, a specific smart contract in the Phoenix platform will be activated. If both parts will agree, then the third-party company will get the encrypted JS data and JS will be rewarded with a specific amount of Phoenix tokens. What about timing? This is our roadmap and, as we can see, the development of the project is quite huge. About a year is needed in order to release the first version of our platform. And that is mostly due to the fact that a lot of testing is needed in order to be sure that all the processes, transaction and infrastructure is working properly. 
Moreover, we have planned to start an ICO once the, our project has reached the version 1.0. Thank you, thank you for your attention. Me and the team remain available for any question or suggestion.